Hello all. Today I am going to share my interview experience with the duct work. I attended the uh, data engineer role uh, in recently. I will share uh, what are the question and answer you need to prepare before going to attend the data engineer role with the duct work. The initial questions they asked about my project experience. So whatever you are uh, prescribed in the your resume you need to uh, clearly explain about what's your project you are working on so that is the first use cases they asked about uh, me so here uh, i explained it's my project is uh, what are the component i'm using how are the uh, components are interacting with each other initially uh, they asked about uh, iot sensors because my uh, project is completely based on internet of things and the microservice related architecture tp caching how are you doing and load balancing ha proxy db cluster data pushing cleansing rest api and analytics so these are the main uh, supporting software components are uh, used in my project so they asked all about that how the functionality what is the workflow from end to end so you need to clearly prepare yourself as per your project you they ask in depth sometime and some of the thing you can they will ask in the overview of that projects later on they i moved to uh, spark and pyspark usages what are the purpose are uh, using and what is the uh, differences when to use so those kind of uh, question they asked about to me and uh, next is the real time streaming video with real time streaming video uh, using kafka and aws what is the alternative for kafka in aws so you need to prepare uh, aws related some of the components and after that uh, uh, once the video got streamed they asked about amazon s3 and streaming platform and what is the better streaming platform available in aws so you need to uh, study and those uh, aws related streaming platform as well and after that they moved into data governance what are the purpose and what are the role you will do in the data governance uh in that security and provisioning and authorization authentication there are multiple things will come in this uh, data governance uh, we need to study in that data governance concept later uh, yes uh, one of the interviewer is asked kafka ha how you will configure and what are the recommendation for the instance how many instances you want in the production or cluster by default is 3 and uh, you can go into extend i mean we can go into scale this and stand in further more next uh, next one uh, zookeeper role for kafka it is also depends on uh, how you are going to configuring the zookeeper and with uh, latest version zookeeper will uh, uh inbuilt or not inbuilt so those kind of question they ask in this so by default uh, the recent version kafka is included the zookeeper uh, support itself so no need to configure zookeeper separately so this are the things uh, this thing also you need to uh, study well after that uh, they ask to uh, data warehouse and uh, data mart what is the differences Uh, so you need to study what is the data mart and the data warehouse uh, uh then uh, they moved into drawback of data mart what are the drawbacks in the data mart the uh, and uh, another one uh, next they asked what is the star and uh, snowflake data models what is the differences and which one uh, when to use and what is the normalization you need to follow on these two uh, models next uh, they ask to uh, why stacking area is needed for uh, data warehouse so this is also uh, one of the question they asked regarding to the cleansing the data uh, it is one of uh, one of this uh, uh, important uh, etl concept so before going to your data warehouse platform we need to do some cleansing so that is the one will happen in the stacking area 
so you need to focus and uh, little well on this and data normalization and what are the normalization which normalization is suitable for warehousing and they move to next uh, aws related rds and rro concept and what is the difference when to use so this basics uh, only they covered and next they asked about uh, yes uh, one of the major question is usually we'll ask in all the interviews uh, what is the dba role and what is the data engineer role so you need to differentiate and when to use so you need to uh, study on that next is uh, they asked about talker and kubernetes concept how are you going to uh, deploy in uh, aws platform and what is the command you use for uh, aws otherwise if you are following ec2 instance how how will you configure how to deploy it so those things uh, they asked about the overviews next uh, they asked the uh, no scale dbs so basically we are following mongodb and cassandra so they covered this one uh, in my uh, project explanation so they asked the question from my uh, project related uh, summary only so this also you need to um, understand when to use and uh, what is the purpose you are using that and next is cassandra indexing cassandra indexing is one of the uh, good concept but how to use secondary index and without secondary index how to filter the data so this is one of the tricky question they asked in the interview and what is the file format is good like ORC and Parquet so you need to study what is ORC like optimized row columnar and Parquet when to use and what is the advantage and disadvantages of both file system and uh, Presto one uh, Presto experience do you have or not uh, this is the one uh, basic question they asked you, but uh, this is uh, I, I answered it from myself because I am not have experience in Presto so this they covered and next is what is the tv engines is good for high analytics by the uh, generally uh cage engine is good so i explained the TH engines how it is working and what is the query execution plan and how the analytics is happen those questions they asked and different type of tv engines uh, you have uh, they asked about what are the different type of tv engines and what are the engines you have the experience this to this question also is asked and the finally they were uh, asked about what is the etl processing and elt processing so this is the thing also you need to uh, study uh, very well before going to prepare or assisting, attending the interview on data engineer role so any companies they mostly they will ask but in the talk work uh, these are the question they asked from me i i think i almost covered all the question and answer except uh presto experience only i am not able to explain to them because i am not uh, uh, worked on this but more than that i had uh, i i finished all the uh, question and answer thanks for uh, uh, seeing the videos in my channel